I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep adding books to my TBR when I literally have books that I have not read yet. Hi Beats, it's EKG. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are taking a look at my summer TBR. It is hot girl summer. It is vaxxed and waxed season. So I've kind of curated my summer TBR to match a more active lifestyle. So let's get into it. I have to be honest, I am a mood reader. I never really do TBRs, but I do kind of like to have a general idea of what I'm going to be reading. I chose a lot of books to match that sort of we out here lifestyle. But first I'm gonna start off with the fiction books that I would like to read read this summer. The first book that I want to start out with, if you watched my book haul, you probably saw it on there, and that is Lot by Brian Washington. This is a collection of short stories based in the city of Houston, and it's following the son of a black mother and a Latino father. That's kind of like a coming of age story. I enjoy books that kind of have the feel of you just being able to pick them up and put them down without compromising too much of your like awareness of what's going on in the plot and everything because each story can kind of stand on its own for the most part. There may be some interweaving themes throughout short story collections, but that's my take on them. So I love stories that are based in places and rely on certain elements of a specific place to tell a narrative and I think that's very powerful and it reflects a lot of our own experiences and where we live. The next book that I am literally been waiting <laughs> to get into is The Death of Vivek Oji and that is written by Awake Amezi. So it says, what does it mean for a family to lose a child they never really knew? One afternoon in a town of in southeastern Nigeria, a mother opens her front door to discover her son's body wrapped in colorful fabric at her feet. What follows this tumultuous, heart-wrenching story of one family's struggle to understand a child whose spirit is both gentle and mysterious. I've heard nothing but great things about the death of Vivek Oji and also the author Amezi. Awake Amezi, and kind of anticipating a sort of devastating, heartbreaking read like that as well. Um, I don't know guys, what can I say? I like sad lit, like I want to have my heart pulled out and like scrunched up and ripped into a million pieces. That's just what I crave from books, probably because I want anything that will make me as an Aquarius feel emotionally attached to something. I would definitely also love to check out um, Second Place by Rachel Cusk. Second Place is a woman invites a famed artist to visit the remote coastal region where she lives in the belief that his vision will penetrate the mystery of her life and landscape. That's just giving me everything that I wanted to give, so that's why I want to read Second Place. I love anything that has to do with the sort of existential study of human of of human like what it means to be human and I would just love to hear critiques or reflections on why and how art serves to kind of act as a philosophical tool for humans to interpret our experience and that's just right up my alley so next I'll get into my number one BFF you guys know my homegirl and that is poetry these are all of like the poetry collections, essays, or letters related to poetry I would like to get into and I specifically want to read more poetry this summer. I think I've been in a sort of absorption phase of my creative process for writing and I just feel as though reading more poetry will help me get into more of a sort of creating phase of my process. It's been a little hard for me to connect with writing poetry at the moment. I often feel as though I'm most inspired when I'm reading other amazing poets and their work. It kind of just acts as a catalyst for me <laughs> to think about the world and interpret and kind of configure those emotions into words. So here are some of the poets and poetry things on poetry I would like to read 
And the first one I want to check out is The Carrying, and this is by Ada Limone. Ada Limone comes The Carrying, her most powerful collection yet, vulnerable, tender, acute. These are serious poems, brave poems, exploring with honesty the ambiguous moment between the rapture of youth and the grace of acceptance. A daughter tends to aging parents, a woman struggles with infertility, and a body seized by pain and vertigo as well as ecstasy. So yes, I am for that. I, like I said, love things that kind of relay our human experience and physically what goes on to our bodies to the more cerebral workings of the mind. So that kind of sounds like what the carrying is about. Another poetry collection that I actually bought, Grocery List Poems by Rhiannon McGavin. Sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. But it says, if the word stanza means room, then this book is an orchard. Poems with scraps of the everyday, from dream diaries to postcards. She scavenges for healing inside of lines that rise and break like bread. Another poetry collection that I would love to get to this summer is Deaf Republic by Ilya Kaminsky. And Death Republic has kind of been on my radar for a while now. Ilya Kamki's astonishing parable and poems asks us what is silence. Death Republic opens in an occupied country in a time of political unrest. I don't think I've read a poetry collection exactly like that. And lastly, I do want to get to some poems about craft. I would love to read some kind of handbook or guides to what poetry is. I'm kind of missing like a formal setting. Of learning about poetry and you guys know I cannot go one video without uttering the name Mary Oliver because she is literally occupies my frontal lobe at all times and I want to take a look at Mary Oliver's a poetry handbook she just tells of basic ways a poem is built meter and rhyme form and diction sound and sense and how and why this should matter to anyone writing or reading poetry and then she uses like examples of Robert Frost you all know this is a Mary Oliver Stan account and if you're not on board then I don't know what to tell you okay I just don't and lastly another kind of like letters about poetry sort of situation I would love to read that I haven't read yet is letters to a young poet by Rainier Rilke and essentially this is just correspondence between the author and I guess a poetry student or kind of like a mentee that they had at the time and just relaying sort of what poetry is, how it grapples with interpreting our life and nature and our world around us and me just talking about it is already getting inspired to write my own poetry so I would just love to get sort of that perspective. Okay next we're gonna get into some like non-fiction essays sort of situations and this is Too Much and Not the Mood by Durga Chu Boys and oh my god I think I have to read this next because it lines up perfectly with what I was saying about creative expression which is just kind of the overall theme too much and not the mood it's a lyrical and personally insightful cluster of essays meet prose poetry about identity and culture and it's informed by Maggie Nelson's Blue Etz which I loved and adored one of my favorite books so far this year she minds the inner restlessness that keeps her always on the brink of creative expression it's part memoir part culture criticism and that's everything that I love and adore okay so another book that I want to get into this summer is trick mirror by Gia Tolentino I was holding that upside down but you know you can do that with this book which is awesome I spoke about this on my channel before but essentially this is just a collection of essays that analyzes like cultural occurrences such as social internet scamming um, what it means to be a millennial and like literary heroine journeys it's kind of seems like it has this pop culture meets memoir meets cultural analysis which I'm all for I think that's great for the summer and once again it's sort of that book that you can take bit by bit piece by piece perfect for quick easy sit down reading sessions lastly two books i'll just mention two more i mean my summer to be our list is out of control at this point but we're not going to talk about that one that i would love to get into is pop song by larissa fam it's called adventures in art and intimacy and essentially it's inventive intimate and provocative this memoir and essays is a celebration of the strange and exquisite state of falling in love 
whether with a painting or person, that interweaves incisive commentary on modern life and feminism and the author's own experiences of obsession, heartbreak, and past trauma. Sounds exactly like what I need to do. And wait, hold up. It references Frank Ocean's Blonde. I mean, it's kind of like using pop songs and music and relaying that to the author's life and memoir in an essay format which you guys know i love music i love connecting music to books and what's going on culturally at the time or at the moment so i think i would absolutely adore the song of uh, the song <laughs> this book. And lastly, I would love to read Blueberries by Elena Savage. This is also kind of a collection of memoir, short story, essay type of format. The body frequently escapes her but is always very much present in these compellingly vivid, clear-eyed essays on an embodied self in flight through the world. I want to read just kind of things that are experimental and play with form. Currently, and I think that that would be a great read for the summer. All of these books, some of them are a little heavy, but a lot of them are just kind of like cultural analysis and that's just what I'm in the mood for. Something about the summer just makes me want to sort of step out of my own comfort zone and what I am like reading, but also kind of find new authors that I have not read yet that kind of align with me and what I love. And yeah, I cannot wait to get into these books. Um, you can follow me along. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit the like button. That really helps me out. Please subscribe if you feel so. Um, if you feel like we have similar vibes, similar taste. Yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye. I was like, yo. Thank you.